It was a busy night of high school basketball action in the local area, including right here in South Bend, where Riley High School had back one of the most accomplished alumni, Blake Wesley. Wesley, the former Wildcat, is now in the NBA playing for the San Antonio Spurs after spending his collegiate career at Notre Dame. And he won a Class 4A sectional title at Riley and was named the Indiana All-Star team as they've now retired his jersey. And now he's giving back to the players at his alma mater. So little do you know, I talk to a lot of the players each and every day. I text them uh, motivation, how they can become better, because they look up to me. Uh, I was once in this locker room, once in that locker room. So I was once here as a Wildcat. They looked up to me, they came. I actually trained with a couple of them. So for me to come back, uh, give them advice, you saw them, shook their hand, told them, let's go, bring the energy. Uh, they like that, and they're going to bring the energy tonight. All right, now let's get to the actual game action. Packed house with a full student section tonight. And early on, Adams was hitting their outside shots from deep. KJ Johnson getting the friendly roll on that trip. But yeah, look at that bounce. And then a little bit later, back down the floor, driving baseline. It's Jarvis Tolbert. Huge night for him. Game high 22 points as the Eagles, they go in front off of that shot. But then it's Riley in the corner. Brighton Williams gets it, and he drains the three-pointer. So Riley, they're back in front. And they get some more shots from deep a little bit later. Aiden Kent, he lets it fly. 13 points for him in this game. Adams, they're able to stick around in this one. Johnston a little bit later, far side, another triple. He had three of those tonight. Riley, though, does just enough to stay in front as the Wildcats win 66 to 55. All right, let's go over to Clay, where they honored some alumni tonight as it was the last home basketball game in school history. All right, first quarter, and the Colonials are up by double figures, and they're adding to it. Brad Hicks, the tough drive and finish, 17 points tonight for him. Cougars trying to just, you know, keep stay around in this. Brody Wigington, one of his two triples tonight. That one's good. But Clay, well, they wanted to close out their gym in style. Tyrese Jones takes over. Runner there off the backboard. He's heating up. Then a little bit later at the top of the key, creates separation. What a move. Hits the three right in the defender's face. And then a little bit later, turning defense to offense with a steal. Game high 25 points as Clay, they win their final home game ever, 70 to 38. All right, let's go out to Brandywine where a packed house and an even more packed student section for a battle of two top five teams in Michigan. First quarter, Tigers get out to an early lead as Josiah King, turnaround jumper for him is good. That rolls in and he just keeps on scoring. Another J falls for him. Looks like the same move right there. Benton Harbor, they're in front. But Brandywine, they get some outside shots to fall. Byron Lindley for three off the inbounds pass, and he's not done just yet. This time from the corner, that one falls. The Bobcats are able to tie this game up. Benton Harbor, Benton Harbor staying one step ahead. This to Jaden Meeks. Oh, dunk right there, slams that home. The Tigers are able to take a lead in the halftime and actually led by as much as 20 points in the third quarter. But in the end, Brandywine, they come back. Jeremiah Palmer, 19 points. And the Tigers, their first loss of the season, 63-57. All right, let's go over to Marion, who is hosting Jimtown tonight. Fourth quarter, the Knights are up, and they're trying to hold on to that lead late. William Owens takes his defender off the dribble. He gets to his spot right there. Marion, they're up by double digits. But later in the quarter, the ball bouncing around underneath the basket. Jackson Horvath, he's there. He lays that in. So Knights are pretty much in control. Jimtown, though, they're trying to catch up here. And to do that, they need to make some three-pointers. And there's Brandon King. Well, he, he lets that one go. Makes it from beyond the arc, and if one's good, how about another? King back-to-back -back threes, but Marion, they're able to do just enough tonight at Zion Road scoring there. Knights win 53-46. to All right, let's get out to some games that we couldn't get to in person tonight. Starting in the NIC, Bremen got the double-digit win over John Glenn, 49-36. to And then oh, let's go over to Penn, who hung on for a close 55-49 to win over Elkhart. Maverick Brown led the Kingsman 19 points tonight. Then to South Bend St. Joseph, I mean, they're having a great season. Huge road win over South Bend, Washington, 93-59. Then to the Northern Lakes, some of their some out-of-conference games for them tonight. Starting with Northridge, they beat Columbia City 66-40. Brady Snow had 19 points. And then to Northwood, they lost 43-32 to Fort Wayne Blackhawk. A couple more over to Mishawaka. They beat South Bend Career Academy 81-36 on senior night. And then finally to Goshen, got the narrow 50-47 win over Westview. So some out-of-conference games there, but just a packed night of action. I was at that Brandywine game. I want to say that real quick. That gym was so loud. I could barely <laughs> hear myself. Think. It felt like, like a pro or a college game. Oh. The, the fans here are incredible. Yeah, well, they saw Jackson Neal was there. So. Oh, I, I'm sure that's why. I'm sure that's why they did that. <laughs> yeah, <right>? exactly. <laughs> they elevated their game well, for that guy. I appreciate right. that. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Matt has a five.